Hey, and welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs. It's currently Saturday the 13th of April 2024, and I'm currently walking along Platform 13 at Central Station. Um, a video or two ago, uh, I uploaded a, a Central Station upgrade video, as I usually do, and we had a look over the fence here at the track bed between Platforms 13 and 14 to see if there's any progress. Now, a day or two after, <laughs> after filming that video, um, putting it together and everything like that, I arrived over, over there, on the upstairs suburban platforms, uh, onto platform 16, uh, when I was heading back from work, and I noticed that there was um, a little bit of work happening here. So then I ended up coming over to the platforms here, uh, peeking over the fence, and they were laying ballast down, so there is works. Today, Saturday, um, just, uh, just waiting around, um, having a, you know, twiddling our thumbs, figuring out what to do. Um, we saw that there were sleepers laid um, on the platform 13 side. So what we're going to do is we're just walking up to the, um, what do you call it? We're walking up to the Redfern end of 13 now. And we're going to just slowly walk back to the other end, popping the, uh, popping the phone in the little gaps in the fence, having a look at the progress along the way. Now I just uh, poked my I poked my eyes through. Um, now having a look, at this point, there's not really much ballast laid. Oh, actually, there kind of is. But anyway, you'll see the progress as we walk along. Anyway. All right. So here we'll do. Oh, actually, yeah, here we'll do. Not a great deal of progress just there. You got a little uh, little roller, I guess you could call it, machine here. So you can see some ballast laid there. Pretty cool. Let's have a look at this machine. So as the ballast is laid, that um, that roller rolls over the ballast to kind of, I guess, um, compact it a bit. Start to see some sleepers there. Got quite a few rails placed there as well. Still a little bit of work to be done. Obviously, they've um, after laying the tracks, then there's um, all the all the wiring and the circuits and all of that stuff for the signalling, and um, not to forget the the overhead. So you got the staunchings there. That was a nice surprise. I just ran into Paul from Transport Vlog. He's also having a bit of a look at, um, at the progress of this. So what we'll do is we'll um, go for a bit of a walk along and um, we'll go on to Platform 14 because there's a short stretch of Platform 14 that's uh, available to walk on. But we'll still pop the phone through here and there along the way until we get just up here anyway, because there's um, it's like a little worker's desk set up with, you know, computers and lots of electricals and other doodads. <laughs> so I won't pop the phone over there and get them on camera. I don't think. There's one more lot here.
All right, we'll walk around to the platform 14 side and see how we go. Because there's a bit that's sort of open there. I suppose as long as I'm not um, poking the phone through the gate and getting them, getting the workers on camera in general, it should be fine. I remember when it was all completely closed off before it opened up, uh, before even platform um, the platform 13 side opened up, and that they were sort of strict about who can who can do what. Yeah, so there's a there's a sign there saying no filming. Yeah, there is a camera there. Uh, a camera. A photo of a camera there saying no filming. Um, but I think that might be just sort of like you know beyond that fence or within the work site itself. But there's an overview of what's happening and. Um, yeah, all, all going pretty well. It's great to see some progress and um, can't wait until this opens. As I, as I say in a lot of the update videos, I'm not too sure if uh, when these two platforms open, I'm not sure if that's going to come with any kind of major timetable change. Um, timetable change including like the South Coast trains returning to Sydney Terminal, which is, which is one thing that I've heard a bit. Um, which would be good. I mean, it's not bad, I suppose, with them with them starting at Bondi Junction, but it just makes sense. It is an outer suburban or intercity lane, and that and it'll be good if it could just uh, if all of them could leave from Sydney Terminal like the rest do. There are some services, you know, uh, Wollongong Kiama, uh, I think maybe even a Port Kembla service or two from Sydney Terminal that do run from Sydney Terminal. <laughs> um, however, not too sure. Not too sure if um, yeah, this will come with a timetable change. Literally just standing around here twiddling our thumbs, and um, I was actually going to wait and film this video on Monday, but I just thought that maybe that maybe by the time I get like finish work and get back here on Monday, um, the progress of of the works here would be a little bit more complete, and I'd like to kind of I like to do step by step updates. But um, yeah, it's all all part of the all part of the work that that I've been covering, which is very good. Um, I've been looking back on a couple of the Central Station update videos and just seeing the gradual change. Um, for example, like, you know, watching the oldest Central update video that I've done compared to the most recent complete walkthrough. Um, yeah, insane changes. Scooters or skates on the concourse or platforms is not permitted. But, yeah, um... Apart from that, there's nothing really left to update. Um, I might come back um, sooner rather than later and do another update on what's happening with the with the track laying and everything like that. Um, when when there's been a quite a few more changes, I might include that with another complete walkthrough type thing. I usually try to do it once a month, but now that there's quite a bit more work happening, I might do it a little bit more often. But anyway, that is it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.